This is the disassembly process of the Garrett 2860 RS turbocharger for compressor housing modifications by Ashbeck Performance and Tuning. What you see here is a pre-modified Garrett 2860 RS that I'll be using to explain how to disassemble the turbo's compressor housing and backplate to send to Ashbeck Performance and Tuning for modifications to the setup that comes from Garrett turbochargers. When you receive your turbos from one of Garrett's distributors, it will look like this. The modifications you'll get through Ashbeck Performance and Tuning includes facing off the 3 inch inlet you see here and adding a helicoiled flange that will be tapered into the compressor housing allowing for a smooth transition into the Ashbeck 2.5 inch turbo inlet kit. The tools you'll need to disassemble your compressor housing and backplates are a 1 inch socket and ratchet along with a set of snap ring pliers. The first thing you'll need to do is to remove the plated banjo to AN style adapter that's threaded into the side of the cartridge. Using the 1 inch socket, remove the fitting and set the pieces off to the side. You should have the banjo bolt, a thin crush washer, the AN style adapter, and a thicker crush washer shown here. When reassembling these pieces, be sure to put the thinner crush washer onto the banjo bolt first, then the adapter, followed by the remaining thick crush washer. With the banjo to AN style adapter out of the way, You'll now need the snap ring pliers. Insert the tips of the snap ring pliers into the holes of the snap ring. It will take a good amount of force to clear the seat of the snap ring, so ask for help if you're concerned about damaging the compressor wheel during removal. For this example, I've taken the compressor wheel out already to avoid damage while taking pictures, but this compressor wheel looks similar to what you'll see when you remove the compressor housing from the rest of the turbo. These are finely machined pieces that have very tight tolerances, so please be careful not to damage them in the disassembly process. With the compressor housing and backplate separated from the rest of the turbo, you're ready to go. The pieces needed for these modifications are still connected to the compressor housing. Shipping your compressor housing this way will reduce weight, effectively reducing the cost of shipping, and allowing for less chance of damage through shipping by removing the more expensive parts of the turbo. Here you'll see all the parts that should be included in your package just to be sure you have everything. If you've disassembled at this point, Please be sure to refasten the backplate back to the compressor housing before wrapping all pieces in bubble wrap. Please be sure to add paper or another fill material to the box as well to secure your parts for shipping. If you have any other questions, please feel free to visit www.ashbegz.com or email ashpowers at ash at ashbegz.com.